WSAZ News Channel 3, 530 edition. Charleston's very own Dr. Raul Gupta returned to the capital city this week on behalf of the White House. Well, Gupta is now in his third year as the nation's drug czar, and he convened a roundtable on Friday on the state's response to drug overdose. And what a crisis it is. News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson was there and reports that the meeting looked at success and challenge. Dr. Raul Gupta, formerly a city and state health leader locally, returning to West Virginia this week as leader of the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy at a roundtable Friday in Charleston, recalling lessons he's learned from individual people in West Virginia. Uh, this is a combination. It's both uh, two sides of the same coin, public health, and public safety. The roundtable, a mix of local and state leaders. CC Brown telling Dr. Gupta about the need for a human connection in fighting drug abuse. One of the things that is, is critical is that you look at that person as a human being and that you don't just look at the number. It's not a number. You know, when you look at overdose deaths, it's not a, it's a person. It's someone who's connected with a family, with friends. Another need, increased access to naloxone, which counteracts an overdose. Gupta touting the White House challenge, an effort to place naloxone in businesses, schools, and parks across the nation. The goal here is to house naloxone, make it available, train people on naloxone, and make sure that when somebody is overdosing from drugs, we have it available so we can save life, because saving life is the first step in getting people the help they need. Still challenges exist. Several noting more help for those transitioning from addiction to long-term recovery. Greg Puckett mentioning hopelessness. You know, with the economic downturn that we've seen over the years, we've seen these businesses go out, the buildings then collapse on themselves, and it's, it's an environment that's not conducive to change. So I asked Dr. Gupta, what is his message to families struggling in the grips of addiction? What is your message to them with regards to what the government is going to do to fix this? Well, my primary message to families who are watching at home tonight and have someone who may be suffering from addiction is this. We're getting more resources to you in your community to get the help like never before. Uh, that resource means we have more prevention available, more treatment available, more help available, and more recovery and jobs available for you right now. Uh, we want to make sure that you have that support. Friday's roundtable was part of a three-day trip to West Virginia, starting Wednesday in Martinsburg, with two days here in Charleston. Dr. Gupta even treating patients on Thursday. Reporting from the state capitol in Charleston, Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3. Dr. Gupta also toured a new intensive care unit at WVU Medicine's Thomas Memorial Hospital this morning. And uh, while he was there, he met with students and faculty and peer recovery coaches later in the afternoon over at West Virginia State.